Brooke, take this ring. Nah, not that one. <laughs> <laughs> this one. How about just say amen? Amen. <laughs> I'm not sure if many of you are aware of this, but I was actually there the night Brooke and Justin met. They met at uh, this classy establishment, Boogie Nights. It's uh, located in Lawrenceburg. I think of it as one of Lawrenceburg's hidden gems. Well, it's kind of a day like today, actually. We uh, had a fancy football draft in the evening. Our ritual is to put on a name that wasn't drafted on our sticker on our chest so we all had weird names going out we went out to the bars and somehow for some reason Aaron took me down to Boogie Nights that night. Four years ago um, I went to a wedding reception and after we went to Boogie Nights and I ran into Justin there at the bar <laughs> he tried to tell me he was his brother but I knew better. <laughs> and she didn't believe me didn't believe me didn't believe me because she didn't remember me from high school he told me he was Grant, and I was like, no, you're not. Well, then the funny thing was, is Frizz comes up not knowing what we're talking about. Frizz came over and said, hey, Grant, what's up? And slapped me on the back. Night went on, we danced a little bit. I got her number at the end of the night, and then everything from there is history. Wow. It seems like just the other day when I met you. I can't wait to watch you walk down the aisle. One, so I can finally breathe, and two, just knowing I am marrying the prettiest girl in the world. It's beautiful. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Lucky guy. <laughs> Thank your mom and dad for me. They did an amazing job raising the girl of my dreams. Today starts the rest of our lives together. I'm already looking into the future. I can't wait to start our family someday and move into our dream home. Your dad and I were cautiously optimistic when you met Justin four years ago, but it didn't take long to know that he was the one. There was a never a doubt the type of wonderful, caring, sincere, mannerly, laid back young man Justin was and we could tell he treated you the way we always hoped you would be. At times it drives me crazy how laid back and carefree you are, but that's exactly what I need. We're having way too many ice cream dates in a week. Thank you for making me the happiest man in the world. I love you and we'll see you in a few hours. P.S. Please hurry to me, but don't run because you may fall and I may faint. Love, Justin. It's very funny to me to imagine what goes on in your all's minds when a priest at a wedding starts talking about married life. What does he know about marriage? Well, what do you know? You know? <laughs> what do any of us really know about marriage? The true test for any guy Brooke dated was to pass the test of her big brother. And we must say you did that with flying colors. I, Justin, take you, Brooke. To be my wife. To be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you. To love you. And to honor you. <laughs> to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. The first time I heard Brooke talk about you 
I saw the biggest smile on her face. And what I love the most is that since you came into her life, that smile and joy has never faded. So while this is surely the happiest day of your life, it is also a really happy one for me too. Because I've always loved you like a sister, and I've always wished the best for you. It is my privilege and honor to introduce for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Justin Ricketts. You know, I think we are going to end up at Boogie Nights after this, so I, I can't wait to see the smooth dance moves that must have won Brooke over that night. Take this ring. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Amen.